In this video, I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way to render out wireframe previews in Blender. So I just recently finished this sci-fi artwork, and if you'd like to check out the final artwork, I'll have a link to the post on ArtStation of this final artwork. So before Blender 2.8 and forward, there was a really easy way to render out the view in Blender. And so I just used that to render out wireframes, and it was really quick and easy. But ever since Blender 2.8 and forward, I haven't really had a good way to render out wireframes or just render out the viewport in Blender. With Blender version 2.8 and forward, there was always this workbench view, but this workbench doesn't have a wireframe setting and you can go into rendered mode and then you can kind of change like the matte cap and you can also turn on shadow and some different things like that. And when you render that out using the workbench, it does look pretty cool, but it doesn't give you any option to render out wireframes and you can't really render out what you can see in the viewport. So ever since Blender 2.8 has come out, I really haven't had a good way to render out the view or render out wireframes until I found out about this cool feature. So what you can do is in the 3D view, you can go right up here and click on view and then click on viewport render image. And what it's going to do is it's going to actually render out a preview of your view. So you can see it even has like the grid here. And if you were to like select the objects and then go view, and a viewport render image, it's actually going to render out exactly what you can see in the view. And as far as the dimensions of the image, if you're in the camera view, if you press zero, go into the camera view, it's going to render out whatever is in the camera. And if you go to the uh, dimensions right here, it's going to render the resolution that you've set it to. If you want to render a different part of the view though, like maybe I want to show what this artwork kind of looks like from the side here, I can just move to this view and then go view, and then click on viewport render image. And you can see that now it hasn't rendered it in the camera view, it's rendered it where we actually were. So how you can use this feature to render out wireframes is to just go to whatever view you want. So I just wanna to go to the camera view. And then what you do is you just change the viewport settings. So right up here, if you want to turn the overlays on and off, you can do that. So to render out wireframes, you can just turn on this wireframe setting right here. And then also if you wanna show some different things, like if you wanna show the bones or not, uh, you can change the scale of the grid and everything. If you wanna show the grid or not show the grid, you can turn these on and off. And then you can also play around with the matte cap setting. So right here, if you just click right up here, you can change the matte cap. If you wanna turn on shadow, you can turn that on, cavity, Basically, just get those settings to how you want, and then now that the wireframe is turned on, you just go view, and then click on viewport render image. And there we go, now you can actually see the wireframe preview in the render. But this way of rendering out wireframes doesn't really give you very many custom settings. You aren't really able to change, for instance, the size of the lines for your wireframe. And you can't really change the color of the wireframes unless you wanted to just select everything with A. And then you could go view and viewport render image. And then it's orange because they're selected. So if you had a specific look in mind for your wireframes, then this method may not work the best for you. But for most things that I do, I just want to render out a wireframe preview of the model so that you can see the topology of the mesh. So this method works great for me most of the time. So again, just set up the view however you want. You could also go into the material preview if you want to preview the materials and see the textures and everything, and then just go view and then the viewport render image. Or if you're doing an animation and you wanna see the animation of it, you can do viewport render animation and it's gonna do the same thing, but render out an animation instead of your image. And if you render out an animation, it's going to render it out to wherever you You've set the output so right here the output I have this just on my desktop so if you want to like select a folder and then view and viewport render animation so this is the quickest and easiest way to render out wireframe previews in blender I hope this video was helpful thank you for watching and I will see you in a future video